My name is Charlie Chittenden. Um, I'm 33 now and I'm a painter from Deal in Kent. I do come from a very creative family. My father's a musician and an instrument maker and my brother's a writer. I did consider uh, taking up painting when I was around 17 or 18, but back then there were no mobile phones generally, there, were, there, weren't, there wasn't any internet. Of course now obviously with the cyber world it's, it's wonderful that I can sell my paintings online, I can kind of uh, have a, an international gallery in my bedroom. I started painting regularly um, <clears throat> in early 2009, um, and I think that it, it kind of stemmed from the fact because I was kind of playing music as well at the same time. Uh, our acts were called the, uh, the Ukulele Gangsters and we, um, we went through a very sort of fierce period of uh, playing all over London. I've written around 30 songs for the band and um, we did, we kind of got our, um, our gigs listed in the Daily Mirror and um, the NME and yeah, so we, we did have a good sort of five year run. A lot of our songs are kind of um, ukulele rap songs and there's something sort of really quirky and kind of um, happy about the ukulele. The other thing I felt about music is you, if you perform a gig, you don't really have anything tangible to show for it afterwards. So I, I, I go to all these gigs and play in these same songs, which is all you know fun and nice, but at the end of it, there's nothing really to show for it. Whereas I thought, you know, in that three or four hours, I could do a painting that who knows might be around in 50 years. The last five years, I've painted over 400 um, oil paintings. I've sold 350 of them worldwide. Um, and I remember um, Francis Bacon said something once. He said, uh, inspiration comes from regular work. And I completely agree with that. I find the more you work, the more you want to work. Uh, in terms of London, I'm represented by uh, Nicholas Bowlby, who's the great-grandson of Sir Henry Tate, who the original White Cube in London is named after. Uh, through him, I, um, I managed to sell painting to Hollywood movie producer Georgia Kakandes, who produced films such as Casino, Siriana with George Clooney, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. I've also sold a painting to um, local actor Peter Cox. I've also sold a, several of my paintings to artist Gary Bunt, who's doing very well in London. The infamous serial killer Richard Ramirez also has my portrait of him. I, um, I kind of came up with this idea of doing something slightly controversial and different, so I contacted a few of these infamous individuals in America, and uh, he replied saying he'd like his portrait by me. So I, um, I painted it uh, in the sizes corresponding to the prison rules, so it was a very small canvas of him, and I, I posted it off to uh, San Quentin Prison, and <laughs> he's got it now. I think painting is definitely a form of therapy and, and catharsis for many um, and many artists actually. My full time job is I work in a unit, uh, an EMI unit, which is for the elderly and mentally infirm. So I, I do kind of lead a, a pretty kind of compassionate working life. I'm doing 50 hours a week there at the moment so that probably helps to inspire me with my art in the sense that when I finally get time I'm really kind of almost desperate to get to the canvas and the oils because I don't have long before I'm kind of going back to work again. This is very stress relieving but it's also a great form of escapism and I kind of get lost in this, this creation of a painting and then suddenly it's finished and I think I haven't thought about anything else for four hours, no worries or concerns or nothing and it's only um, painting and, and sleep that can really do that for me.